So guys, it turns out that Carly Russell lied, y'all. She had the whole world looking for her, but she faked the whole thing. The chief of Hoover police say there is no risk to public safety in the Carly Russell disappearance case, implying she was never abducted as claimed. The police chief addressed the media Wednesday to share the facts uncovered by investigators in the time since Carly Russell returned home. The police chief says Carly Russell was captured on video living at work July 13th, the day of her disappearance, taking a robe and paper with her. She then ordered food and stopped at a Target to buy granola bars and Cheez-Its. From there, Carly Russell hit the road making a 911 call on her way to report that she saw a child on the side of the freeway. Just take a listen to the 911 call. The police chief says his officers responded within five minutes of Carly's call and she was nowhere to be found. She was also the only person to report the child on the side of the road, despite it being an area with lots of traffic. Officers discovered Carly's phone, wig, and the food she ordered in her car, but the target items, rope, and paper she had taken from her workplace were gone. The police chief says detectives were able to briefly interview Carly, who claimed when she got out of the vehicle to help the young child, a man with orange hair and a bald spot came out of the woods, grabbed her and led her over a fence and into an 18-wheeler trailer. Carly Russell told cops at one point she was able to escape the trailer and she was put in a car, blindfolded and taken to a house where she says she was forced to undress and the man and a female accomplice who Carly says she never saw took photos. The police chief says Carly told them she was eventually able to escape when she was loaded into another vehicle running through the woods until eventually arriving at her family home. The police chief also reviewed some searches Carly did on her phone in the days and even hours leading up to her disappearance. This included do you have to pay for an amber alert, how to take money from a register without getting caught, Birmingham bus station, one-way bus ticket Birmingham to Nashville, and also the movie taken about being abducted. The police chief also says there were also searches Carly conducted on her phone that reviewed her state of mind leading up to the disappearance, but he wasn't going to share those out of respect for her family. 
In the end, the police chief said they still need to do some work to determine exactly where Carly Russell disappeared to during the 49 hours she was gone, but claims there is no threat to public safety, aka she lied. If you go on social media right now, especially Twitter, Carly Russell is being dragged, and rightfully so if we're being honest. Somebody tweeted, I hate to be that person, but this Carly Russell situation is an incredibly unfortunate thing for the black community. Black people, especially black women's kidnappings, are already not taken as seriously. Now imagine the outcome of the situation. How selfish can you be? Somebody also tweeted, I don't take back my defending Carly because I would rather go down as someone that just believed a potential victim than someone that could have been known as a victim blamer. But I'm so pissed at home, girl. Somebody also tweeted, her parents I feel for the most right now. What a thing to put your parents through. Of course, you would believe your daughter. As a mother, I can't imagine bearing that public embarrassment. My question is about why, Carly. Another person also tweeted, The thing about Carly Russell is a lot of us didn't have that immediate instinct to believe her. But when the facts came out, people rightfully questioned the story and now, look, we were right to be skeptical. But y'all made us a race thing and lies make it harder for real victims. Another person also tweeted, Carly Russell lying or whatever took place will not make it harder for real missing black women. The system itself does not care about black women in the first place. That talking point is performative and tired. Another person also tweeted, I knew this story was bullshit when they said they found her wig. It would have been some MMA type fighting going on before a black woman leave her wig behind. <laughs> this is fucked up. But anyways, that's what's going on on the Carly Russell side of things. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.